Sometimes you feel like a nut. Hello, farmers. Welcome back to the Pacific Northwest. I got a load of wood in the back of this uh, locking trailer. So we can go down and get some more cash. And buy ourselves a tanker. Hopefully I can figure out which tanker I actually need to buy. Uh, that'll be more self-explanatory in a short bit. But also in today's episode, I'm kind of going to talk a little bit about FS19. Obviously, Giants had a big thing over the past weekend. Revealing some more news about it. Uh, one of the things that just came out a little bit a while ago, like in the last day or so, uh, the release date, I guess, is going to be November 20th. So look forward to that. It won't be in October like it has been in the past. Uh, some people may say, oh, i got to wait an extra month. But from what, if you haven't heard anything about FS19 and what it's going to entail, it's it's almost going to be almost a completely new kind of a game. I mean, yeah, still farming and everything, but the way you play it is going to be really different. Uh, so we're going to go over some of the things while I'm... Uh, doing this video today so in 19 in case you didn't know uh, there's gonna be horses and dogs in the game uh, you do have to feed your horses I guess they'll eat oats and you will be able to ride them and possibly name them and your dog is gonna be kind of like your your buddy I guess Let's see if I can stay on the road this time the roads actually over here I believe Yeah, my driving is going to be terrible because I'm trying to read as I go along here. Also, uh, there'll be no class in FS19. So, who knows? It might be like a DLC later on. Uh, some are speculating because class is in cattles and crops and blah, blah, blah. So, that's why it's not in FS19 because they're... Well, you can uh, figure out your own theories of why there's no class in 19. But, uh, there was no... Uh, Coon in FS17 until it became a DLC, so we'll have to wait and see on that. Um, your character, I guess there's going to be more customization with your character. Kind of like other games where you can change your hairstyles and and all that kind of a thing is going to be kind of a thing in FS19. So you can look forward to that. Uh... Now you can buy, uh, excuse me, you can build your own farm. So, basically what they're, what I have seen other YouTubers post and whatnot, I've been kind of following that way, is that when you start a game, you can either start a game with, like you normally do in FS17 with a farm and some base materials, like certain tractors and whatnot. In 19, you can start with no farm, nothing. You just get money. And you can build your farm anywhere you want to. Which is, you know, I kind of like that idea. I right, see if we can find the cell point here again. I can kind of see my tire tracks in the snow from before. Uh, okay, because I forgot. Uh, left side. Stop auto load. I should have stopped that a long time. And X, start unload. There, got us over the 70 grand, which I was hoping. Uh, so let me just read a little bit more here, because it's hard for me to drive and, and look at the other screen and read at the same time. Because I'm sure I'm missing some things. Uh, yeah, so you can now build your own farm. Uh, other things, if you're if you're kind of familiar with Trucking Simulator, uh, an SCS, either Euro Truck or American Truck, where when you hook up trailers and stuff now, you see the air brake hoses hook up. Uh, now you're going to see that in FS19 to where the pipes and the hydraulic lines will hook up to the tractors, I mean tractors to trailers. Uh, now there's some mixed information on this next slide. Multiplayer, which you know a lot of you probably may get into, uh, you can have it, it. It's out as four far. You can have up to four farms with four players or teams of players with their own vehicles and bank accounts. So basically, you can have up to four farms 
and four players can play on each farm and everyone has their own bank account their own farm everyone's separate so you can you know maybe have like a competition with your friends or or however you want to do it now it's also come out that John, I guess Giants has said no it's not four farms with four players it's eight farms w with eight players so to me I, I don't I'm not really sure because that sounds like well if that's eight farms with eight players that's 64 players on a multiplayer uh, they have a problem with 16 right now, so yeah, I, I don't know. So don't, I, I don't know. You may want to look more into that, but let's just say a multiplayer. There will be where you can have multiple farms with multiple, you know, multiple players for each farm, so you can have competition with your friends or whatever. Uh, you can place your farmhouse so you can spawn wherever that is placed. So, like I just said previously, if you want to start a game with just money and no farm, you can. Of course, now you can when you build your own farm, you can put your farm anywhere on the map that you want. And of course, as you know, when you start start farming simulator, you always spawn at your house. So make sure you place your house where you want to spawn at all the time when the game starts. That's kind of a key thing, I would suppose. Uh, back on multiplayer, you can like on most maps, you just have one cows, one one for sheep, one for pigs. Now, Giants is only only said it this a multiplayer you can have uh, two cow areas for example so is it just cows you got multiple spots or is it cows sheep and pigs multiple spots I don't know uh, apparently the rain won't come through the buildings now that's kind of a mixed thing because giant uh, there's mixed reports from giant saying yeah it, it's it's a hundred percent there's other people from giant saying nah it's like 80 90 percent so yeah, I'm not. I'm not sure on that either. But looks like they're working on it. <laughs> so less of a chance of that happening. Uh, let's see. Also in uh, whoopsie, I'm trying to read and see traffic. In FS19, you do not buy fields. And you're like, wait a minute. What? 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 What do you mean we don't buy fields? Yeah, in 19 you buy sections of the map so I'm not really sure how to take that just yet um, so it may be really more expensive to buy certain areas I'm not sure but now we're heading to the store anyways and driving off track a little bit So now I got 70, well, we'll just say 80,000 in the bank, but now we're going to spend, I think it's 70,000 for a, a trailer, a tanker. I could have bought a small tanker and, and done it, but eventually we want a big tanker, so I'm just going, you know, go big, go home right now. Now that we got a, a truck with a logging trailer, we can make a good amount of money. I don't mind uh, cutting down some trees now and then to get the cash that we need. Sorry, our header trailer is still down here. All right, so if we go in here, you've probably seen a couple times in the garage, but our trailer is going to come from this little guy right here. Uh, ooh, there's 76, and then probably with mods, it might be a little bit more. Uh, trailer hitch, main color, doesn't really matter. Y tires, rim color, we'll keep it. Mobile decals, the generic show fill type decals, two tone, no type, two tone. I'm hoping I get this the right way. It's 77,000, so if I screw this up, I'll have to edit this part out. <laughs> Show fill type decals. I'm, I'm trying to remember from doing this before. Two tone, no fill, no fill. Groovy, mobile. All right, let's see if I screwed up. Let's 
So right now it's just a plain red trailer. But the first thing I want to fill it up with is liquid slurry. So let's head out. We gotta head on over the moo cows and slip and slide everywhere. And hopefully, if I did this right, it'll pop up once we start filling up. And I gotta pull more forward than that to get over there. Oh, lower ladder is an open up fill point. I need to do that. Refill. Okay, there we go. There we go, and it did work. So now you can see, it says right there in the side, liquid manure. First time I used the trailer, actually, I, I didn't realize I had to. Uh, lower the ladders and open up the fill point so that's what would stop me from filling it up okay uh, emptying on uh, change to raise the ladders and close so basically if you look at the rear of the of the trailer uh, right on top is a hatch. When I hit N, it lowers the ladders and opens up the fill point. And when I hit N again, it closes it. So, I cannot refill it when it's closed, obviously. That was my problem to begin with. But these trailers here have, if you get the, the buy the trailer like, like I did, when you fill it up with certain things, it'll change the label on the side of the trailer. So it says right there, liquid manure. And I like on the back it says caution this trailer contains political promises. Uh, yeah, it's full of shit. I mean, uh, full of manure. So, <laughs> all right. So now we're going to go to our placeable, and we're going to pop in our liquid manure so it can start processing that and give us more seed, uh, more artificial fertilizer. Uh, wait, where am I going here? No, I need to go this way. Learning the roads on this map, finally. I mean, I know I've been playing it quite a bit, but there's certain areas I haven't touched in yet because when you're first starting, as you know, you're, you're just working fields. You're not really driving around your own equipment. I'm trying to stay out of the cab so you can get a better view of the, of the map. Oh, the, the little rivers and ponds on the right hand side are frozen, but the main river is not frozen. There's our placeable that we're going to. And now we'll see if I can make this corner with this truck. It's one thing I do like about this truck. Without the long nose in the front, I can really, it's easier to turn, except for in snow. Also on this trailer, if you look at the bottom, <coughs> excuse me, the bottom part, you can see where it says 16115, right where all the pipes are. It actually tells you the fill level on the side of the trailer. Alright, so let me open up the hatches, because I think they need to be open to unfill it. Uh, 
start loading digestate no I don't want to start loading of course it's hard to see if I'm in where it needs to be unloaded I think what I'll do here I'm going to save the game because so far everything's gone well but <laughs> I can't tell if I'm in the unload zone or not Oh, so I just had to hit R to unload. It says it kind of confused me because it says start loading. So I'm th I think it's going to load the trailer. No, it's uh, unloading. So you can see the pipe it has a pipe also going there, and you can see we filled up the digestate in the tank so it's registered all right uh, let me open up the uh, the rear lid again and now you'll see when we fill up with artificial fertilizer or excuse me liquid fertilizer we go to the pipe and it changed to liquid fertilizer transport Not much in there, but, you know, <laughs> at least you get to see kind of like the different uh, paint schemes that they got or, or skins they got for the trailers. Let me turn that HUD off. And I want to go meet you at the Seedmaster. Alright, here at the Seedmaster. Now hopefully this will reach. Oh, it does. And just like that, that can start making some seed, which we're not in dire need of, but at least I get to show you the skin of the trailer itself. So now, just for funsies, we'll head on down to the river here. Uh, can I go through this bush? Yeah, I can. Hopefully we don't get stuck, but if we do, oh well. One over railroad tracks and such. Whoa, 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 whoa. There we go. Yeah, I can put some more water in there. That way we can go fill the cows. And now you can see it says water transport. There she goes. She's out. So for now, we'll park this down here. I don't think the cows need water. Uh, let me go. I haven't really checked the animals, which... Uh, yeah, for the most part, they're fine, other than grass, but I can't feed them grass. Oh, the sheep. I gotta give them some kind of hay. Their water's fine. Their water's fine. Cow's health is up to 52%. I think it was last time but I was kind of curious I know the water is froze over but we'll go in here anyways yeah, slip and slide now we're just curious to see even though it's froze over you think that would break to the ice? Does it still fill? No. I didn't think it would, but you know, you gotta test things out once in a while. Alright, ladies. As I try to wreck my Volvo. Oh, it's a different button. Uh, wait. Do I have to open that up to... Oh, it actually is... It says I unload. 
But it won't unload. So can I not? Do the cows? Yeah, they could use water. Just give me the trigger to unload. Uh, wait a minute. How about if I do that? Right side, so I'm on the right side hoses. So I cannot fill a water trough with this trailer. May not be able to do a water trough with this trailer. It says I unload. I'm hitting I and nothing's happening. It's showing me in the bottom right hand corner I'm in the tipping zone. Let's see. Let's control X. Okay. I had to put emptying on for it to take it. Alright. We're learning together. A lot of you at home are probably saying, because you may already have this mod, it's like, dude, you're hitting the wrong flipping button. Do you got to do this? I do kind of wish that whatever you had in there last would stay on the on the trailer. I may have to change the color scheme of that because eh, red's not my favorite color. I mean, it's not bad, but still. All right, I think for now what we'll do is uh, We'll go ahead and put that in here because I'll forget where it is Because really our Joskin trailer can still give water to the animals We don't have that many animals where it takes more than a trailer And close on up. So the other thing I want to read just a little bit more here at FS19 that uh, I thought was really nice. When you put a placeable object, at, object down, as we all know in like 17 and before, basically your placeable object has like a big concrete block under it. So when you place it, if the ground's uneven, you get like a high concrete block in certain areas and you may not be able to drive up on it. Apparently in 19, the train will adapt to your placeable object. So you won't have big areas of concrete. The, the train will actually adjust to your placeable object. I think that's great. That is some good news. And I'm sure I'm missing out on some things that they've mentioned. Um, but I'm just trying to mention the things that I think are more important that most of us players would uh, be interested in. But I like the fact that uh, we can build our own farm. Oops. It's kind of weird. It's still acting like there's snow on the ground here. When I turn the truck, I just, just about spun out just by turning slightly. But to be able to build, build your farm where you want it. So when you start a game, you can also choose that there are no placeables on the map. So basically, you can design your own map in a way. Now, I don't know if that includes the farm animals, uh, like the cows, sheep, and pigs. I'm not sure if there's going to be a horse area as well. 
or is that something you got to buy at the shop I'm not sure about all that stuff but this is what I'm saying about other farming games being out there and starting to do kind of well Giants is adding a lot of stuff into the game coming out whether they're getting ideas slightly from other other farming games or other games in general it's pushing them to add more to their game at least now we know the date is November 20th for the release date uh, actually no this well I can go this way I was going to try one more thing here before we got done, but I got uh, thinking more about 19 than the, the video that I'm doing. So, <laughs> we're going to head up to our four corner field. Get in our Volvo cab here, driving through these trees. That way it doesn't look as bad driving through them. Let's not spin out here. Actually, we'll do this one right here. So now we're going to find out. I can't remember if tr this trailer... Come on. Give me a blue line somewhere. Oop. Well, these trees can be really tricky to find... This right there is the lowest point I can go at. I'm going to say that uh, this trailer will not auto load this. But hey. Don't know until you try it, alright? Say, is that even there? <laughs> it's one thing about cutting these in the snow. Some some of these limbs are just gonna disappear in the snow. But let me cut this tree up, and I'll bring it back in a second. We'll see if the uh, auto loading trailer accepts these kind of things, which I don't think it will. But hey, we got to find out together, right? All right, moment of truth. Oh, you picked that up. That's a big help. It's, it's kind of working. Now, it's hard to see. Some of these may have, like, uh, limbs on them that I can't see. But by running over them, that kind of helps. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Really chains off. Hey, if it picks up a couple of them. So it looks like I'll have to get the John Deere out and load them up that way. But hey, it picked up the biggest one, right? So, but that mess may have to stay there until the snow clears. It's going to be hard for us to see it. Uh, did I not? There it goes. That way the big log won't fall off. Uh, yep, I'll have to get the John Deere out and, and do that one there. But hey, it picked up a couple of them, so we know that it can do. I was actually surprised it picked up the biggest one because they, that's got like... You know, it's not actually a straight log. But that saves a lot of uh, issues with our John Deere trying to pick it up. 
All right, the last thing I want to do, uh, we actually may go make a delivery because I don't like not having a lot of money. Seven fifty again. I wonder if it's because I saved the game, and restarted it. It's been a couple days, so sometimes the prices revert back to what they were. Oh, that's right. We can also sell milk now because we got a trailer. But the price for milk sucks. Uh, this price is still not that decent. This price is still going up. But I say we go get some wheat and deliver it to the timber flour mill. Timberline flour mill. And I forgot which one that one is. Oh, it's up here. Alright, let's start up the truck again. This time we'll get right into it when we start it. I do love the interior of this truck. I mean, all, all the needles work. You can see the RPMs. Right, also in FS19, now that I'm inside, uh, you, when you activate like buttons and stuff, you'll and the pedals, you'll see the pedals and buttons being activated and moved. Oh, I looked and didn't even see that truck. Now, I'm sure this thing's an FS19 that are coming out that you people are probably sure to run these. Oh, you didn't mention this. Yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm just trying to remember what some of the YouTubers said that are confirmed things from Giants. Uh, I'm trying not to mention things that I'm not sure about. Yes, fill up with wheat. Now the good thing is this will leave us with like 10,000 liters of wheat in there. Now we don't need that much to feed the chickens. But actually we get to a point to where we could buy some more chickens. So they can produce more eggs. Well, let's go up and uh, just put a little bit more money in the bank account. No, uh, we don't really. I did pay off the loan, right? Loan zero. Yes. Okay. Come on, turn. There we go. back in the cab oh yeah also from what I understand uh, now I don't use track IR in farming simulator or the steering wheel which uh, you know I, I got all that stuff I to use it in trucking sim as you've probably seen those videos uh, but track IR will not work in FS19 apparently which kind of sucks I don't know why they would not have it but maybe with the new engine they're having some problems with it being compatible and all that if I remember it's going to be on this side over here seems like the game always auto saves at the weirdest times Looks good. Let's get some money. Hopefully, give us over 25 grand, but I don't think it'll get that high. Will it? Just barely. How about that? But now we got a tanker so we can start transporting and, and make our own uh, materials for the farm. Which is nice. We still got a lot of grain. Well, not that much grain. But for a new farm, we got a lot of grain that we can still sell at some point. But let's go back to double check the chickens. Make sure they're, they're still good to go. But actually the biggest thing was getting this truck and getting the logging trailer. Because now we can go up to the forestry get a load of wood and bring it down we can make a good amount of money in kind of a not a hurry but a quick cash and grab where are you turning left haha uh -huh, you thought that was a turn didn't you now you're going to turn right I 
I don't use my blinkers here because we're going to own this darn town in a couple seasons. But actually, now that we're getting close to the end of, well, near the end of season one here, we did pretty well, I think. With no loan or nothing. Uh, turn off those lights. Now see that little thing on the dash there? Right next to my speedometer? Those are my beacons. Let me know they're on or off. That even shows up. That's nice. I do love this modded truck. Pretty good. Boy, it's getting dirty already, man. Wow, it's even got the crunches of the snow when you walk. I forgot about that. I do not miss that sound just yet. <laughs> Uh, I gotta bring up the UI for it and how are we doing on food and water so what we may do is just before I go feed him again uh, we'll buy some chickens actually I think where do we buy it's right here uh, how much are chickens a hundred dollars a piece I like it you buy it well $15 to transport a chicken, is it? $15 per? Wow. That's rather expensive. Uh, no, that's not what I wanted. I, I, I really hate to see how much one of these are. Uh, but you gotta get the modded one. The black edition, same price. 67 grand. The reason why I'm thinking about getting the big trailer is because at some point we're going to need to transport that many. It's only 24 grand for the small one. You have to get the modded one because it accepts chickens. Uh, 180 chickens. Hmm. Now I know you got to transport a lot of animals to make your money back on that. But now that we know that FS19 doesn't come out until like November, and it's only July, so we got August, September, October. We got four more months of <laughs> of FS19, uh, 17, sorry. And I don't mean that in a negative way. I said we, we got four more months of this game. Uh, we got four more months to play on this map. So I think I can, you know, easily make my money back on that. So who knows? I may, well, I may, I may do some logs more logging offline and uh, our next purchase may be this right here because I think it'll be fun to transport I always like transport my own animals just adds more to the game uh, we really don't need to be buying other things at the moment uh, yes more fields would be good uh, we need a seed drill and all that but yeah I mean there's a lot of things that we kind of do need I'm also trying to make the videos a little bit more interesting as well. Hey, ladies. But, uh, yeah, I think that's going to do it for today's episode, guys. Uh, if you have any more confirmed things about FS19, you'd like to post in the comments below to let other people know what's going on with it, uh, feel free to do so. And, uh, like always, I appreciate you watching the video. Hopefully you enjoyed it. And I'll see you next time on the Pacific Northwest. But until then, have a good one.